Well, hello and good night to my fellow dreamaholics out there. Um, I just wanted to come and share a few words. It's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, yeah, last week, um, last week uh, was an absolutely positively brutal week. <laughs> I mean, when I say rough. Lord have mercy. <laughs> it was rough. And I wanted to share a little bit about what happened because um, uh, for all of those people who are going after their dreams and going after what's in their heart, going after what's in their minds, you know, um, the journey is not to the swift, but to those who can endure. And it's the challenges that really make us who and um, what we become. And um, so, um, uh, um, many of you know that the 10 million strong, the win with Noel program, we are in the process of, um, launching it. It's been a long time coming. It's been, uh, two years more, more now in development, um, to bring it to where we are right now. And so it, it's been painstaking just putting together the whole, all these different concepts between the education platform and the, um, uh, and the uh, the way that we're going to payment gateways and how we're going to be structuring all like there's a whole bunch of back end stuff and frankly I mean it's 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 a real learning curve it's been a real learn, learning curve for myself and for the team because you know some of this is all stuff that we're not experienced with I'm not experienced with doing things online in this way I'm not accustomed to like all of these different integral parts coming together I'm not used to this kind of stuff it's completely entirely outside of my comfort zone completely and you know um, even the idea of having to do ads and promoting things I've never had to do ads for my business ever I've never promoted uh, my business through ads it's always been word of mouth and people sharing how things work so anyhow we get to last week and you know and um, you know we're getting ready yes we're excited we're pumped yeah we're finally launching we're, well pre-launching because our formal launch is in January right and so we're finally going to launch a first set of webinars, which webinars, which I'm not used to doing. Um, it was my first time actually ever actually conducting webinars because I've never done them before. And every possible thing that could possibly go wrong <laughs> was going wrong. So everything from the back end technical stuff, you know, because we're getting used to using this platform called ClickFunnels. And boy, like the between emails that were supposed to be going out. One set of people is receiving one set of emails with a different date for this webinar and other people are receiving a different email with a different time. We're like, how in the heck is this even happening? You know what I mean? And then so you're inviting a bunch of people to come out and then there were issues on the back end with the streaming and trying to get people onboarded and boy, oh boy, it got to the point where because we had, because what I did was, because I, you know, I always like to err on the side of caution. You know what I mean? Nick? you want to be, let's be over prepared. So we're going to do multiple webinars because most of the mentors that I follow, people said, well, you know what? You do one mentor, one webinar a week and you do it consistently. People get used to it and then you promote it and you master it and you get strong at it and great things start to happen, right? That's what I had been, you know, what I've been taught. And then I said, well, you know what? I'm, I want to make sure we're successful. So we're doing like four, like that week. And so we had this promotional campaign. Some of you may have seen some of the videos. Uh, you get to meet some of the commercial videos that we, that we had done. And... You know, so we had, like, can you imagine, on uh, one of the nights we had, like, over a hundred and something people registered, but because of a technical glitch, we ended up with six <laughs> actually showing up. And it was like, whoo, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Remember, I'm paying for these ads, right, which I've never done before. So it's like, it, it, you know, jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut, boom, 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 pow. Like, it's like, oh, 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 oh. rope-a-dope, rope-a-dope, up against the ropes, you know? And anybody know what I'm talking about? I guess you know where you're 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 putting everything out there, and you're and you're busting it, and you're trying to make things happen, and then but you you get you're getting those shots. And so long and short of it was a lot of the issues were technical issues, educational issues on learning how to effectively even lead a webinar properly. And so now I've had to really get into serious student mode, and I've been reviewing all these other people. So you know, so now when we go to go to the next set. We're going to make certain that we've corrected the challenges. But, you know, it's it just one of those things where um, there's a lot of folks because it was, is it discouraging? No question about it. Is it frustrating? Oh, yeah. 
No question, because you're putting your heart, mind, and soul into something which you desperately want to see succeed because you know what it can do for people. And I know that the 10 Million Strong program, once, it's, once we get this right, it's going to be a game changer. It's going to help a lot of people all over the world. And I couldn't be more excited about the future of what's coming. Like it's, it's coming and it's going to be like we, when we did the beta test over the summertime, the results were through the roof. Like people got, and they're still getting results as a residual from what we did this summer, I guess, you know, and so now as we're getting ready to, to blast off and take it to that next level, I can only imagine what it's going to be. And we're, and, you know, saying to um, one of the uh, people on my team, Ashanti, I was saying, you know, um, you know, one year from now, we will be masters of this thing. And I just, you know, and when we're masters at it, boy, life, life changes in a very big way. And I just really wanted to share this message to offer encouragement to people who maybe things haven't worked out for in the way that you wanted to when you first started out. And, you know, if it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy to become a multimillionaire, Everybody be millionaires. If it was easy and didn't require any real t challenge to create a mass movement of something, a lot of people would be a lot of people would have done it. The difference between the people who actually get the picture uh, materialized and the people who just talk continue talking about it is persistence. And you know, I I remember reading in Thinking Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill, persistence. Man, that chapter is serious, and it's like and. It, you have to be so determined that whatever it is that you are doing, you know what I mean? I started out talking about me, but really this is for the reason I'm shooting this isn't just to bellyache, it's to actually share so that because there may be people who are going through challenges. There may be people who you've been trying, you've tried one attempt, two attempts, three attempts, four attempts, five attempts, and things aren't going your way. And you keep getting punched. You keep getting kicked in the scrotum. You keep getting the licks that come with learning, you know, and the... If you want the prize, you've got to be willing to pay the price. And as I said to my team the other day when we had a meeting, I'm prepared to pay whatever price we have to to win. I, I don't really care what we have to do. I, we're going to cut. <laughs> this is one game we are going to win, I guess. And because there, there is, well, there is an option, which is losing. But I, I, that's just an option I choose not to exercise. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I, I just want to, I just want to share tonight and to hopefully encourage somebody. So one of the, the last thing I'll say on this, so this doesn't become a long dissertation, is that um, you need to have in your forefront of your mind the image of what you want to create, but not get tied up in the how it's going to happen. Because when the right time is right, you need to be flexible enough to make adjustments in your plan in order to make it happen. There were some people who were talking to me and because as we were going through our headaches in the, on the back end, building this thing out and creating, um, and they were like, well, in a while, you know, um, I, I don't want to wish you any offense, but maybe you want to try this. Maybe you want to do a different approach there. And I said, listen, there's no offense. I want, <laughs> there is no pride in losing. You know what I mean? I, guess I want to win and I am willing to make adjustments. I'm willing to approach things differently. I'm willing to, because I recognize that there's more than one way to get to that destination point. Bottom line is getting there. So um, I'm, I am absolutely 1000% committed to following through on what's in my heart. And, you know, and so we are recalibrating. We're going to be kicking off another set of webinars on the um, 22nd of, um, of October. And uh, so those, and, um, you'll see the notices coming out for that. Um, so please feel free to join us. But I'll tell you something that I just, in spite of getting my backside handed to me last week, <laughs> I couldn't be any more grateful to be in the position that I'm in right now. I'm grateful to, one, have the, to know that I have the skill and ability to make this happen, that I have an amazing team of people around me that are helping me. God is lining up some amazing people who are, and some people coming out of nowhere, literally, to help us to meet our objective. Um, I am so grateful to God for everything that he's instilled. And I also want, I'm also grateful for God having confidence enough in me to choose me to do what I'm doing. God has chosen you to do what you're doing too. And, you know, and 
one of the things that I think we all ought to do is demonstrate to our creator that he was right in choosing us. He made the right decision in picking you. He made the right decision in picking me to do what he's put in my heart. We're not going to put it off. We're not going to hold back. We're not going to relent. We're not going to fall back. We're going to, it's forward march. We're going to continue to work. We're going to continue to fight. We're going to continue to figure stuff out. We're going to continue to ask for help. We're going to do everything that we can within our power like this to make what God put in our hearts manifest. And that to me at the end of the day is the bottom line. So I thought I would just share this with you and I, and I hope that this has encouraged somebody out there tonight um, that may be going through some stuff and some challenges because I guess some people have said to me, well, it looks like everything's always easy for you. Things are always happening. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, boy. I like this. Is the boom, boom, boom. We're taking our bumps. We're taking our bruises. We're going, you know what I mean? We're, we're taking our licks, buddy. We're taking our lumps. But we're earning the prize. The, the prize is your birthright. But you have to qualify to claim it. Claim it tonight. Claim it today. Claim it tomorrow. Let's get going and go after what God put in our hearts. Guys, have a powerful night. Be, be well. Be blessed. And I hope that if this touched you in some way, please like or share um, this message with somebody who needed to hear it tonight. And uh, yeah, take good care. And we'll see you on the flip side. Have a powerful day. Bless.